it was more of a, just an alignment and, um, you know, style of run. And um, so just, that's all it really was. Uh, not, not a big deal, but uh, not exactly the way we drew it up. So was he supposed to go left or was it just a cut that he could have done differently? Uh, <laughs> probably could have uh, aligned a little bit different. I'll put it that way. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. We'll go next to Jared Smalley. Jared? Hey, Ryan, a question about, obviously, we don't know whether Thibodeau is going to play in this game, but even beside him, you look at their defensive alignment and there's so much talent there, a bunch of four and five stars and at linebacker with, with Sewell and with Flo. I'm just wondering how you would describe the challenge of just trying to establish a consistent run game this week and, and, and the resistance you think you're going to meet in that. Yeah, I think when you play against a very uh, good defense like, like we're about to play, you, know, you have to understand, especially against a matchup opponent like Oregon is for us, that you know, we have to play you know, a field position game at times. You know, we're going to have to make sure that we understand that going in um, and you know, just see how the game plays out. But it's a very talented group. We're going to have to do a really good job with identifying you know, where they are, where they're coming from, and then we're going to have to stay on blocks. So we have to take care of the football and stay on schedule. Um, and you know, this, is, this is as athletic and as fast a defense as we've played in a long time. All right, we'll go next to Brendan Gulick. Buckeyes now on SI. Coach, I want to ask you about managing the emotions of this weekend. Um, you know, the first time playing back at home and in front of a big crowd, and, and you know, you, you've got to try to stay, you know, true to your, to your game plan and having guys just sort of manage the adrenaline that comes with all of that. How quickly in a game does that wear off? Um, and, and what are some of the effects that you think can come from, you know, being uh, too pumped up or, or, you know, not being focused perhaps the way you need to if you're early in a game with, with big stakes? Yeah, I mean, I think that the term we use is you have to play with emotion, but you can't let emotion play with you, which means, you know, if you're letting that emotion affect your play, then, then you know, it's a disadvantage. And so um, whether it's playing on the road in front of a, of a hostile crowd or playing at home uh, for the first time in a long time with with our crowd, uh, you know, we can't ride that roller coaster. We have to stay focused on, um, you know, the task at hand. It's going to be a hot day. You know, it's going to be a long game. And so, um, you know, we have to come out and play as hard as we've ever played. And, and that's one of the challenges, you know, to play with relentless, unbelievable effort in this game. Um, certainly have to do a good job with the scheme and understanding, you know, how we need to attack on in all three phases, but we have to play with unbelievable effort. And uh, in order to do that, it's going to take four quarters. And, you know, we have to, you know, understand that it's not just going to happen in the first, you know, five minutes of the game. You know, we're in for a, for a battle here for 60 minutes. All right, we'll go next to Joey Kaufman from the dispatch. Joey. Ryan, anything new as far as Pellier or still status quo with his uh, waiver? Yeah, as of right now, uh, we, we got word that, that he got denied. So, um, you know, we're going to try to figure out what's next. And obviously very, very disappointed that they, you know, he wasn't granted uh, an opportunity to play this season. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll kind of regroup and see what's next here. Will he still be right, on the next up? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. as of right now, yes, he is on our roster and will continue to be. All right, we'll go to Dan Hope, 11 Warrior. Hey, Ryan, uh, Luke said yesterday that he's preparing to start at center this week. Have you guys made a decision on who's going to start at center this week? We, we played a couple different guys and, and we'll, we'll continue to roll guys. And I think Luke's ready to start. I thought he, he did a really good job in the first game. Uh, this will be a new challenge. Uh, you know, they play with, with a zero nose. And so they'll have somebody lined up on him and, and that'll be, um, you know, a new thing for him, a new um, opportunity for him to grow. Um, so, you know, we'll kind of, we'll see as we get closer to the game, how we'll shake it all out. But, um, but I thought he's had a good week of practice. All righty. Next up, Tim May, Letterman Row. Yeah, Ryan, as we sit here on a, on a Thursday, do you have any kind of – can you give us any kind of hint or clue of what your defensive secondary, starting defensive secondary is going to look like on Saturday? Um, we'll have um, – you know, we'll continue to rotate guys. You know, we're not going to get into details on who's starting and all those type of things. But, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, we, we will play depth. I think we'll need to play depth. I think that we'll probably plan on playing somewhere between 70 and 80 plays on defense. So – uh, that will happen, but we also want to try to find a rhythm, you know, and find a chemistry back there as well. Yeah. So that's the balance that we're working on as we head into this thing. All righty, next up, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. 
Hi, Ryan. We got a glimpse of Trevion last week. Um, have you seen that kind of stuff from him in practice? And what do you foresee his role developing into? I don't know exactly what, what the role is going to end up looking like. He's going to play a lot of football. We've seen uh, big playability in him. He only had a, a couple of touches here the other night. Wish we had gotten more for a lot of guys, but um, he's got to continue to build on it and grow. Um, shown that big playability, though. All righty, we'll go next to Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Hey, Ryan, uh, JT Tuomalo played uh, a pretty big contention in snaps in the first game, and especially compared to uh, what Jack was able to play. How much of that was a reflection of that opponent and, and what Minnesota does up front, and how much of it was a reflection of just how far JTT has come in a short amount of time? Um, uh, probably a little bit of both. I think that he has done a, a good job. Uh, I think he's very conscientious, and uh, he can take meetings to field very, very quickly. You know, according to, to Larry Johnson. And so uh, he's very conscientious. And um, so he'll continue to build. I, I think he and, and both, uh, he and Jack Sawyer both have an opportunity to play as true freshmen here and have significant roles. All righty, we'll wrap up the lightning round with Stephen Means, Cleveland.com. Ryan, CJ's touchdown passes last week were all pretty explosive plays, but they all required the receiver to, you know, do something, do a lot with it after the catch, especially when Chris, both of Chris's, how have you seen him maybe improve in that aspect? Because that seemed like it was something that was new that we hadn't seen from him in the past two seasons is what he's able to do after he catches the ball. Yeah, I think one of the, the emphasis uh, for, for Chris coming into the season was run after catch, taking care of the football. You know, I think that was something that, you know, he felt like coming off of last year was something he needed to really work on. And so to see, you know, for a first game, a couple of big plays run after catch uh, was encouraging. And, and so, again, just to start for him, but – but, uh, but good to see. He's got to continue to take care of that ball. And when you take care of the ball uh, with great ball security, then you can have confidence in, in running through and forcing guys to tackle you. So uh, hopefully more to come here as we, as we head into this next game. When you've got a new starting quarterback, is that more of an emphasis on the receiving core? Is maybe making a few more plays than they've had to in the past? From that aspect? You know, if, if, if you try to go make plays, it doesn't usually work. You just try to, you know, trust your technique and, and trust the, the scheme and, and play really, really hard. But it is good to have experienced guys around you in all areas. Thank you. All right, we got time for, for one or two more. If anyone has any follow-ups, go ahead. You know, this is Tim May. Uh, uh, Ryan, I know you don't give a, a you, you don't talk about this until you get an availability report later, but is Josh Proctor looking encouraging, I guess, headed for Saturday? Yeah, I try not to. I know you want to ask, all the, ask those questions <laughs> and out about guys, but. Uh, I, I try to stay away from all of that. Uh, you just don't know how guys are going to continue to work during the week. So, um, you yeah, know, we'll see as we get closer to the game. Do you have a backup quarterback now? Do you have, have you named a backup quarterback? No, no, still haven't done that. Uh, still a work in progress. You know, I'd like to sit here and tell you that I think that we do have one. Um, but again, we'll, we'll continue to build on this. It's a long way to, to January. And, and hopefully, you know, guys start to separate themselves in that area. <clears throat> all right, Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Yeah, Ryan, just wanted to follow up regarding uh, Nayo Teote. Did the NCAA give you like any reasoning about why they didn't uh, approve his appeal, or is it kind of not something they give you? Um, you know, really, just the, what I know is that it was denied. And, um, you know, we're going to look back into it and see if there possibly could be some sort of an appeal or not. Um, but, but we're trying to put a plan together for what's next for him. And last question to Nathan Barrett. I just wanted to ask about the, the tackle eligible play with Donovan Jackson. Just why was the, he had the choice to be in that position and, and how do you expect to use that going forward? He's very, very athletic. I mean, he can, uh, he can run routes, he can catch balls, he can block, he can do a lot of different things. And for a young guy, we thought that uh, he was a guy we wanted to get on the field. And so, you know, he able to get a couple reps under his belt. Uh, we'll continue to do that if, if, you know, he continues to practice the way he does.